My name is Matthias Rocha. I'm 11 years old and I'm in the fifth grade at DPS schools. School has been like online school for two months and then going to school for about eight days and then they moved us back for, yeah, keep going on online. I am coming to you from my bedroom slash classroom. Um, so the past six months of my life have been um, a roller coaster. After school activities like sports, um, I had a little bit of that, but then they canceled them. But we got to play football, but they canceled all of baseball. So virtual teaching has been an adventure. Um, I would like to think I'm sort of starting to get the hang of it. I think it's just trying to balance everything and engage students. I do my schoolwork at the table, on the couch, or in the kitchen. The best thing about school during COVID is having home lunches, no disrespect. I feel like I get to hear from a lot of students at any given time in a way that I wouldn't necessarily be able to do in person. So if I asked a question, I would ask for a couple volunteers to share their answer, maybe hear from three or four students. Um, my students, particularly my freshmen, love using the chat feature of our virtual classroom. So I can ask a question and hear from like 20 kids and be able to read all their responses and engage. Um, and that's just really unique. The hardest thing about school during COVID is like having distractions. Like you could just go sit on the couch and watch TV or play games on the Xbox or Nintendo or PS4, but you just have to stay, yeah, you just have to stay doing your work. But the reality is that virtual teaching has been really challenging and really difficult. Um, and I think it's so easy to feel like a failure. We're, we're hearing messages that this just isn't working for students, that they're miserable, that they're not learning, that parents are struggling. Um, and it's just really hard to carry that weight of all of that into my teaching. A typical remote school day looks like nine o'clock meeting, and then you stay in that till 10.30. That's the fifth grade meeting. And then you go until 11. Then everybody comes back into class. And then lunch is at 12.35. Then read aloud starts and it goes till 2.45. And then special starts and it goes till 3.25. Switch schools over the summer, so I am at a new school and trying to get to know my environment, the culture of my school, my colleagues, all without really ever having stepped foot into the school or really met any of my colleagues in person, and I have no idea when I will. <laughs> um, my hopes for the rest of the school year are we get to go back in person um, because it's just better in person. It makes me really afraid for the future of public education um, and not because I'm buying into some of this fear mongering that we'll like never have another day off or they're going to replace all the teachers with computer programs. Um, I don't believe that. <laughs> if anything, I think that the response to virtual learning has shown how important <laughs> teachers are. I would like my teachers to know um, they're doing a great job.